he was a schoolyard thug and uh, part of a gang. He was very small, but he was a fierce fighter. He was saved from going into the crime life by sports. His coach of judo pulled him out of this street life and he became a very avid fighter. The KGB were watching who was doing this kind of sports in the Soviet Union. Putin didn't make any secret out of the fact that he wanted to work for the secret services with KGB. He dreamt uh, to become a kind of Stirlitz, which is uh, the Russian version of James Bond. Asking me, you know, do you remember the character Stirlitz? It's like asking anybody in, in this country, do you remember the character Bond? You know, yes, you remember the character Bond. The theme of Stirlitz in 17 Moments of Spring, the idea of sort of a glorious Soviet spy, I think is very important. And this was an extremely important film to Putin. He was 21 years old when 17 Moments of Spring was released. And two years later, he joined the service. He joined the KGB. Now I can easily talk about that, you know, uh, for 20 years, I was an intelligence officer. My generation of, uh, of kids were brought up in the sentiments of very heroic novels about uh, World War II. In the heroic of uh, small kids who were fighting fascism. In the heroism of our intelligence officers. For an agent, it was very important, if he wanted to have a good job, to be married, happily married. Because otherwise, uh, we can't trust you fully. You could do your own business with other women there. But we would dislike this. Putin's wife, Lyudmila, when he dated her for the first time, he never uh, told to her that he was working for the KGB. He was telling her that he worked for a police. And he examined her character. He sent his friends, and uh, they wanted to date her as well. And she said, no, I have already a boyfriend. I have Vladimir. And that was enough for him to be proud of her and to understand that she really likes him. <laughs> 